Thank you for being there. I looked back out, and the fire was too close. I knew my house was gonna go, so I told my daughter to grab everything they could. My wife and two boys are on vacation in Oregon. And my daughter and I, we grabbed as much as we could and got out. Didn't have much time, but we got out alive, so that's what matters. I mean, don't get me wrong, it hurts. Um, nothing I can do about it. Lost my whole life, everything I've ever had. Um, the kids. The kids are what's gonna matter. I, I got three teenagers. They're gonna come home to a moonscape, you know. I'm worried about them. I'm trying to find out, you know, is the place standing or not? And uh, it's uh, it's kind of it's sad that this thing has taken over and gotten so big because it's displaced a lot of people and it's caused a lot of damage. You spend a lifetime building places or having a, like a family home and, and stuff like that, and it's just. Uh, it's heart wrenching to you know have it just go up and smoke like that, and you you can't be there. And most people think, oh, I might be able to defend it. No, you can't. There's been crown fires. It's been running wild, and they have no containment. So it's dangerous as all get out. So anybody that uh, has something around here, you know, follow the safety rules and uh, orders because it, it might be your life.